Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys my summer morning routine. As most of you know, I have four kids right now. I just recently did a morning routine with a newborn and a toddler. Now that my daughter is not a newborn anymore and that my boys are home from school, our morning routine has definitely changed quite a bit. For today, we are just having a basic day around the house, so we have no plans to go out. So I'm just waking up when I wake up and I'm just getting ready for the day. The first thing I like to do in the morning is take a big gulp of water. I typically go through one of these overnight while I'm breastfeeding or up during the night with or without my daughter. And as you guys can see her little bassinet in the corner, it's kind of funny because for the first time she's not in her bassinet. She actually woke up to feed at about 6 a.m. which is unusual. Typically she's up a little bit earlier and then I'll put her back. But since she was up with me at that time, I just left her in her bed. The next thing I do once I get out of my room is just refill my cup with water. This is about 1.2, 1.5 liters of water. And I try and get through multiple of these every single day. It just makes me feel good to drink water. As a breastfeeding mom, I definitely need loads of water. And since it's so hot right now, about 100 degrees during the day, water is definitely a must. I love my coffee in the morning. Even if I only have one, that's okay. It just makes me feel really good it starts off my day really well the next thing you're gonna see me doing is opening up my curtains I love natural light natural sunlight inside my house I just feel like that makes me also feel really happy and cheerful in the morning since it's only about 64 degrees outside this morning yes I know it's pretty chilly it's never this chilly I'm putting on a pair of pants before I go outside, I'm also just rinsing off my face with some water and patting it dry. And now that all of that is done and my coffee is done brewing, I'm just going to put some so fresh almond milk in there. I do the unsweetened almond milk. That's just what I prefer in my coffee. I have never put a sweetener or sugar or anything like that in my coffee. So I prefer it to be unsweetened. And since it is summertime and we're enjoying this beautiful weather, I decided to come outside and sit down and have my coffee here. I do this most mornings, either I'll scroll Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram or just a meal plan for the day or something like that. On this morning, I decided to call my mom because we hadn't talked in a little bit and my mom is like my best friend. We get along so well and she was actually driving her way to work this morning. She puts me on Bluetooth speaker and we just talk and it's a lot of fun. We just get to communicate that way. So I'm just doing this for a little bit, having a nice chat with her. <music> My alone time was definitely cut short this morning because I got up a little bit earlier. Ryan just came to let me know that Easton was woken up. So I just came in real quick to prep his little breakfast that he has. He's never into a huge breakfast right as, as he wakes up. So I always get him a bowl of fruit and a glass of water or I'll do something like this with peanut butter and banana and just chop it up and then have him eat that. I am still waking up and so is he so that gives him the opportunity to relax for a little bit. It also gives me the opportunity to finish my coffee if I haven't done so and get my day started. Good morning Easton. Good morning buddy. Easton. Easton. Good morning. Baby. Who's that? Baby. That's you. Can you wave? Can you say good morning? Good morning. Are you ready to get out? Good morning. Up. No, oh, he's still over here.
doesn't normally get up this early, but he always gets up before his little sister. It's just how it's been since she was born. This gives us time to chat and hang out together, play a game, read a book, watch a TV show, play together, or just have a conversation. I normally try and use this as a learning opportunity as well. When you have a toddler, every opportunity you can have to teach them while playing is super nice. So as you can see now, we're just learning our body parts and he's showing me all the parts on his head and his hair and all of that. So that is really nice and exciting. He just turned two just about a week and a half ago, so he's still pretty little. So we're just spending a few minutes together before his little sister wakes up. As you guys saw, when I just rolled out of bed in the morning I had her laying in the bed with me so I had a few minutes with her it's definitely a quantity over quality when you have multiple children and you're just trying to juggle it all time spent with your kids is super crucial and you just get to enjoy these little moments playing and having a great time Alexa turn on Michelle's light Okay, you pointy baby girl. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, Everly. Should we change your bum? Hmm? Yeah. Hi, good morning. Where are those smiles? You always smile for mama. Where are those smiles? They're the smile. Good girl. Are you all clean now? Are you all clean? Yes, you are. Good morning. 7.36 and both babies are awake. Hey, Easton. Easton. No. Those are mommy's keys. Leave them there. Come over here. Thank you, Easton. Thank you, Easton. Uh. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. How are you? Good. How, are you? Good. how is your sleep? Good. Not bad. I heard Easton at six o'clock in the morning. Did you? Did he wake you up? Yeah. You woke up your brother. I didn't wake up. I took him out of bed at like 7, 7.05. Yeah. Tired? Yeah. Good morning. He'll be right back. Good morning. Hi. Hey, give Alex a hug. Hi, Easton. Easton, give me a hug. So we need to get a baby gate for there, as you can tell, because we try and block Easton off from bothering everybody in the morning. So now we just push up the couch against it. Right, Easton? Can you go put it in the sink? Go put it in the sink, please. Good job. In the sink. On mornings that we're not leaving the house right away or not leaving the house at all, I definitely do like to slow down a little bit and spend time with the babies. These moments, like I said, are just so precious and go by so, so fast. So as you guys can see, we played with his little cars, which he is super fond of lately. He is loving them. And we're also reading this book. I'm actually just scrolling through it, not actually reading all of the pages and just learning animal sounds at this point. So I'll show him one of the pictures in the book and get him to find the animals on the other page. And we can't forget about our sweet Everly Grace. She is just about three months old right now and she is just so sweet. Learning new things every single day is just so awesome. 
We also got her ears pierced, which was super fun and exciting. I'm all about getting them done super early so that it doesn't affect them later on. It doesn't hurt them as much. They're not traumatized and they're also grow with them. So she might not tend to pull them out as much as someone who got them done when they were older. And she is absolutely loving her play mat right now. I put that in my newborn favorites because it was a great thing for a newborn, but it's even better now that she's nearing three months old because she gets to play with it and pull out the toys and bat at it and really interact with it. She is smiling and cooing and just almost laughing, which is just so exciting and super fun to see. So I definitely love to just interact with her this way if she's not in my arms. I'll put her on here and add different toys to it and just see her have a good time and just her character is just so beautiful. So we're just so excited to see her grow. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking if it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you Changes, but you show me life is full of faces. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and unaware. Oh, I got you, there's no reason to chase and payment on my own. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. I'm delighted cause I got you. Alright, so it's breakfast time now. The boys actually just requested some cold cereal this morning, which is fine. A lot of the time I'll make them scrambled eggs or waffles or pancakes, but since this, this is what they wanted, that is alright. Easton just has some blueberries in his and Alex is actually just having Lucky Charms, which I mean it's summertime, so why not just let him have a few different treats. So Easton is actually asking him for a couple of his marshmallows and that's why he's a little bit whiny. Easton is having it with his almond milk because he has never actually had dairy milk before. He was just not interested. And Alex is at that point where he's a little bit older and not interested in almond milk yet. So that's okay, he has his dairy milk. While little Everly is sleeping, I'm gonna take the opportunity to quickly wash down my face. And I'm also gonna take the time to just quickly moisturize my face and add just a little bit of makeup. I cried a million tears and more to find out where I belong. We're not young, but we're still free and running. And this day has never kept us bothering. Every day we dance and life's been smiling. We're not young, still drunk in love Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you
Like I mentioned in my last cleaning video, I like to wipe this down and wash it down every so often. Things fall from the trees. There's no cover for this one. So all kinds of gunk gets in here and sometimes the bugs will land in here and die. So I really want to make sure that it's nice and clean for him before he plays with it, just in case he decides to put a gulp of it in his mouth or something. So as you can see, I was just soaping it up and now I'm just rinsing it off and adding some fresh water for the day. The boys love this specific water table. I will link it down below if you guys are interested in it, but it's just awesome and the boys absolutely really love it. There's so many different little parts to it. So Easton might be a little bit young for it, but he still enjoys splashing around the water, getting himself and his brothers and everything around him wet, which is fine. It helps him cool down in the summertime. And then the older boys like to play with all the little knobs and gadgets and actually comes with some tubes as well. So it's actually a really, really fun thing for them to do to keep them cool in the summertime. I'm just about done my 1.5 liter thermal flask bottle. Um, I try and get like through three or four of these a day. I've got my little vulture here. He's been playing so well all morning, but of course, since I have food, he wants it. But yeah, that's okay. So this is my breakfast for this morning. I've got a um, sa sausage patty there, breakfast sausage. I don't know if you guys can see because of the light. I also have two eggs scrambled, some shredded cheddar cheese on top, and then some spinach as well. So if you guys are just popping by my channel for the first time, my husband actually just started the keto diet a couple weeks ago. That's mommy's water, where's Easton's water? And um, he's doing really, really well with it. He's actually losing some weight, so he's doing well. I am still breastfeeding my nearly three month old little girl. So for me, I need a little bit more food. I have tried cutting down carbs. So I cut down like all the refined sugars and all the breads and pasta and rice and potatoes, but I'm still eating more carbs than I guess what you would do on the ketogenic diet. I tried, it really made me sluggish. I didn't feel well at all. I was really, really dizzy. So like I said, I am adapting to some of the foods that he is eating but I tweak it a little bit just to make myself feel good. And I have actually lost four pounds, so that makes me feel really good. It's also 10, 18 a.m. I know so much has gone on already in our morning. We were up really early this morning, um, but yeah. So along with that, we're also doing a little bit of intermittent fasting, so he'll eat from 10 to six. And then I do a little bit differently. Sometimes I start eating at 10, sometimes it's 9.30, sometimes it's 11, just depending on how I feel. Um, because again, I'm breastfeeding and I want to make sure that my baby is my number one priority. But anyways, guys, that sums up our relaxing, well, it's relaxing to me anyway, our relaxing summer morning routine. This is typically what I do when I don't have to go anywhere. I don't do a full face of makeup. We're not rushed in the morning. We kind of just go with the flow. If I need to be somewhere, then I get up earlier, get myself ready before the babies wake up. But that's just not how this morning planned out. And when you have four kids, you kind of just have to go with the flow. Anyways, I'm going to eat my breakfast before it gets cold because I am starving. I've never tried these sausage patties before. These are the ones from Costco. They're actually quite yummy. I got these yesterday as per my husband's request and I just decided to make one. They're super easy to make. I'm gonna have a mouthful of spinach in a minute. 
Hmm. One thing you realize when you have little ones is if you're not eating, you don't eat at all because either they will require your help, they will need something, they will be hungry and eat all of your food. And since I am tracking my macros a little bit, it's super important for me to get all of it on my plate so that I'm not under eating or over eating. Are you eating my food? What are you doing with mama's breakfast? Here, I've got you some water. Would you like a bite? Yeah, dad, dad. Easton, would you like a bite? Yum, yum. Can you say yes, please? Hi, baby. Okay, hold on, mommy give you a bite. Would you like a bite of sausage? Look. And just like that, as I mentioned, I've got a little one who's awake from her first morning nap and it's getting actually quite hot out here this morning, so I'm gonna have to leave, that's mommy's knife, please. I'm going to have to get her dressed really, really soon. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. What do you say if you'd like a bite? What do you say? Three. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my breakfast with two babies on my lap as usual, and then we will move on with our day. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.